small business if the Chinese economy continues to have struggle and it's, and it's having its own slide over there? You know, I'm not going to deny that there could be some very modest effect, and I underscore very modest. On the U.S. economy. That's correct. Um, I know a lot of small businesses are, you know, import and export. I love that. Um, international trading, supply chains, but we, we can we can do it. We are doing it right now with, without China. Right now, we are doing it without China because we we put up a lot of tariffs. Um, I don't know, 250 billion. The 200 is a 10 percent. The other 50 billion, I think, was a 25 percent. I call it the technology tariff, which is very important. Uh, no, I think. You know, we're growing 3.5 percent in Q3, as you know, 4.2 percent in Q2. Uh, the four quarter change is now 3 percent, which is a milestone. Our small businesses are soaring, soaring. They're killing it. That's what these charts show. And I apologize, I should put them up on the screen. They're killing it. Should small businesses expect 3 percent growth next year? Yes. Yes. Cut low forecast. Maybe higher. Yes. But that's a baseline for next year. That's right. We will put out our budget, um, Mick Mulvaney and so forth. Um, I don't want to give away the family jewels, but 3% is a good number to think about. People said it could be done. You're, you're the fact, president. One of the, let's just pause for a second, Robert. Um, I, I know there's a lot of political stories out there. We're talking the economy. I know, and you're very, you're, you've gotten very good at it, really. I've known him for years, um, uh, and I'm impressed. Okay. But Thank you, Larry. <laughs> back to the questions. Back to the questions. Um, I believe the biggest story in 2018 is an economic boom that almost everyone said would be impossible. How are you going to bolster wages, though? There's still some nerves about that. I just let me just tagline that last one because there's a million political events, and I understand that, and some are more important than others. But here's, and I owe this to the Washington Post's excellent reporting, a couple of factoids. Uh, I just met the woman. I don't want to Heather get Long. any trouble, but Heather Long wrote this fabulous piece a while back. Uh, front page above the fold, Washington Post is, you know, well-known supply-side newspaper. And that's a joke. And um, you know, she noted the e explosion of blue-collar jobs, which hadn't, you know what, people hadn't really focused on that, including me. And she went all the way back to Reagan in 84 where I, you know, I was a Reagan Cub Scout economist in the Office of Managed Budget in those days. That's big. That's very big. And the other factoid, uh, which came from another source, probably our own CEA, blue-collar workforce wages are growing faster than the white-collar. They're not as high, don't get me wrong, but they're growing faster. That's extremely unusual and suggests to us that particularly the business tax reforms and tax cuts are really working because Kevin Hassett, my dear friend and CA chair, wrote this piece, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. I've been using it for years for corporate tax reform. The biggest beneficiaries of corporate tax reform are the ordinary workforce. 